morning is it from Zester's lab. Yesterday I did this Bob Marley look-alike and I loved it. So I thought why not share it with you. Let's make another one. I'm not finished with him yet. I need to make another one. So let's do it. So I went and bought a canvas, a little bit larger than that. And let's just play. Remember, we are like a child. When I paint, there's only one rule. Be like a child. Just let the juices flow. Just go with the spirit. The life is in you. You are a creator. The creator is in you. So let's just create. So thanks for joining me. Let's just see how this is going to go. I'm going to put the camera down. I hope you can see. There you can see it's A1 canvas and now I don't know why but it's very dark but let's go first of all I always just wet the canvas it's always so nice much easier for the paints to flow so that's why I wet it it's just my way, you know. I love painting because of this method of mine. Because it's quick. I, I love art to just flow and just be quick. I don't enjoy using a small little paintbrush and then go like that. So we're just going to have my palette knife, put the paint onto the canvas and let's go. So on, usually I always look at the painting or the thing I want to paint, the picture, and what I then do is I apply the paint onto my canvas, the colors where I think it's supposed to go. So you can see, I just drop pieces of red where I see red on the painting just do it a little bit more wet it a little bit more then I see orange so I put some orange on a round bob the background is orangey red then you even have some black And then there's a little bit of yellow. So I'm just going to put my yellow drops in. Really you don't think, you just apply. So there I've got my paint on. Now I am just starting with my paint palette knife to just apply it onto my canvas so it's just a smear action you just smear it on you don't think it's just oh nice I love how this is looking and I want a little bit more red here and there so I apply different red and you allow it to be thick in places and not so thick You just play. Look there. There's a little bit of water running there. So you get that. So yes, yesterday I really loved making this. And I realized that, that today it's not going to be the same. It's never the same. My second Bob Marley is also not going to look like my first one. So that's great. So let's just see what comes out today. I see a little bit too much red here. So I'm taking some black. Just put some black. 
down at places, especially there in the sides. Don't overthink. Think, oh, this is now not nice, or this is this. Don't think. Just play and just feel the colors coming together. Enjoy it. That is what I love about painting, how the colors flow and change color when I add another color. So you see, I like the black in here. I love how this comes in. And now this is now just me. When I'm at this stage, I usually just take my hands and just do the side. Otherwise, afterwards, you need to take a little brush, so there's always a little bit of paint going over the side, especially when you've got a thick canvas. So then just do that. So that is kind of, then I just smear it in the middle. Of course, you know, everything must get together. It mustn't be, oh, this is red and this is, everything must get together. So, okay, now let's see, kind of where Bob's face is going to be. I'm just going to make a circle, kind of do his face. Later I'm going to put more yellow in and do the face. But now it's just kind of where it is. And then one thing about this face, there's a lot of black shading around it. And then I just like a little bit of yellow here and there more, so I just apply it. Scrape it off here on the side. That's it. Now I take my black again and just there to get his hair and things in, you just apply the black around the face. But the face will, I will do the face on the second part of the painting because that now takes a little bit of work. This is not, it's not so easy to just, for me now, some people, they just, oh. And that's it, you know, you look at other people and you think, oh my goodness, I'm going to stop. I oh, this is ridiculous. Look how easy it is for them. I'm not going to try this anymore. Look how I struggle. Now I just put my thing into the water and just look at this. Oh, man. Just more black there. And this is his hair on this side. You just really go as the spirit leads you. I'm just trying to get the canvas clo you know, closed up that there's not a lot of open white spaces. So you ah, go, okay, there it is. So you can see the it's coming, the hair is coming. Just doing the black now. I haven't done this at the previous one. So that's why I say my two is never going to look the same. 
because I feel different. I use different techniques just as the spirit leads me. Right, so there you have it. You see it. Oh, can you see the hairs coming? Oh, beautiful. Now I just, first of all, want to do the body for the clothes. This is his shoulder. So let, but you see the right, the red there at the bottom. That's what you want. You want everything to come together. That is what I love about this more abstract kind of art. Everything comes together. You cannot make a mistake. Nothing is a mistake. There's some blue in the hair as well. Now I'm doing this shoulder. Coming here. Look the water there. It gives him that kind of Where's the shoulder and the sleeve, he's playing his guitar, I'm going to put the guitar in now, you see when it's wet, how beautiful it's coming through. I think the most difficult thing and the most amazing thing of art is you really don't know how it's actually going to unfold. And then that makes it very scary on the one side and excited on the other side. You see there's now a little bit too little water here. Oh. I just play. This is what makes me excited. Look there. It's just playing. Just applying. Just playing. Just look and see. Oh, I love this. Okay, now I want to just put the white in. All my things are, you see, just put the white in where there's a white shirt. Don't think, you cannot go wrong because you just apply another layer. So I use my... Um, acrylic paints. Some are a little bit thicker, some 